Hello everyone, my name is Valentina and today I will show you how to create a New Year's dragon with watercolor step by step. We will need a simple pencil, an eraser, water, watercolor paints of six colors, brushes and a sheet paper and a palette. I take a pencil and start drawing a vertical line slightly to the right of the center of the sheet. We use a pencil very carefully because watercolor paper does not like aggressive pressing and each new erasure with an eraser can spoil its texture. Divide the line into four equal parts. In the upper part of the axis, draw an oval like this. Next, I draw the lower oval which is stretched horizontally. Now we connect them together with a line similar to an arc. First on the right like this, and then on the left. After the dragon's head and body are outlined, we will draw the tail using an S-shaped arc. In height, the tail occupies a little more than half of the vertical axis. Now I go back to the upper oval to the dragon's muzzle and outline the nose. Then I draw ears and spikes symmetrically on each side of the head from above. I add nostrils in the nose area, they will also be in the form of small ovals. I plan a horizontal level for the dragon's hands and start drawing them with a simple oval shape. I do the same with the shape of the legs. I start with the arc of the hip of the leg and outline the horizontal axis so that the second leg is on the same level with the first leg. I add two lines to the tail axis so that it acquires a recognizable shape and draw spikes in the form of triangles along the main axis. I return to a pause by drawing a little shape to them. I want to add two wings to our character, let's do that. Now I go back to the dragon's head again and draw its shape in more detail. I will draw him high raised eyebrows and eyes, the pupils of which will look into the lower right corner. Do not forget about the New Year's hat with a pom-pom. I don't like how the dragon's feet turned out, so I decide to redraw them. Now it's much better. Let's draw a Christmas garland in the hands of our hero. I'll start with the part between my hands and just draw an arc in the form of a smile and then the left part in the form of a smooth curved line. In the lower part I'll make it very winding. Christmas tree balls and stars will hang on the garland. It doesn't matter in what order to draw them, I draw each element in turn. And you can do it as you want and generally hang any other Christmas decorations on the garland. We 
We will also finish drawing two spikes on the head and a smile, thereby making our character even cuter. Our sketch is ready. Now we can safely start coloring the dragon. I will need a napkin to remove excess water from the brushes. Before taking the paint, it is necessary to moisten the brush well in water so that it gains more moisture. Using a brush, I take two colors, cerulean blue and ultramarine blue, and mix them on the palette. I paint over the dragon's head and body without going to the hat. At the moment when I reach the middle of the body, I add a little pyrrole scarlet to make the tummy more ruddy. As you can see, I do not take a lot of paint at once and do not write very richly and brightly. I apply layer by layer gradually to make our illustration even more delicate. Here I take Pyrrol Scarlet and slightly mix permanent Alizarin Crimson into it in order to add these shades to the area of the tip of the nose, belly, tail and cheeks. I make a smooth color transition using a clean brush in this way. I will also add more on the tail, heels and on the paws with which he holds a garland. Do not forget about our wings, they will be in soft pink shades. You can already make the first layer for the hat and spikes with ears. I outline the spots on the dragon's body. The first layer I draw with very transparent colors. I take quite a bit of paint and if I see that a lot of color, I remove the excess with a dry clean brush. Now I take shadow violet and mix it with ultramarine blue adding a little permanent alizarin crimson to start painting the darkest areas. I paint the body starting from the neck, carefully go around the left paw so that it does not merge with the main color of the body and gradually stretch the color towards the tummy, making it more transparent.
To highlight the dragon's leg, I paint it up to the foot and also cover the tail with a new layer of color, dividing it into two parts. The part to the right of the center line will be darker than the left. On the left half I use a brush like this to create a volume and emphasize the shape. I will add a shadow from the cap and make a smooth transition so that there is no clear border. I want to see more color on the other leg, so we will paint it over together with the foot, while leaving more pigment on the foot. I will circle our wings a little, using the same shade of ultramarine blue, plus shadow violet, permanent alizar and crimson. I'll add a shadow on the left to our New Year's hat. Now I take pure cerulean blue for the shadow on the wings. I do not paint over completely with this color, but only emphasize the shape in the inner part. Then with the help of plain water I make a smooth transition to the edges. We paint over the cap with the color Pearl Scarlet leaving the lapel and pom-pom intact. Since the brush already has Pyrrhal Scarlet, we will add more blush to the cheeks and nose, not forgetting to make soft transitions. Again, I take our color for shadows and pass a new layer over the body and tail, leaving the tummy practically untouched. Now we will put Hansa yellow deep color on the stomach so that it becomes a warmer shade, very transparent and neat, and add warmth to the muzzle. I will add blush again until the muzzle is dry so the paint will smoothly spread out. Now let's paint the background using ultramarine blue and shadow violet. First I paint large strokes of shadow under the dragon, carefully going around our decorations and then I add a little background around it. I draw my own shadow on the foot in blue. I mix ultramarine blue, shadow violet and cerulean blue 
and again apply a new layer of color to the dragon's body, starting from the hip and up to the neck. I paint over mainly the left part without affecting the stomach. I make a soft color transition to my stomach. Do not forget about the rest of the body. You can put soft accents everywhere and emphasize the shape. I add a pink shade to the tail, especially at its very tip. While the same color is on the brush, I will add it to the hat and to the stars on the garland. While the paint has not dried on our stars, we will add ultramarine blue to one of the corners. See how it spreads out beautifully and the stars immediately become much more interesting. We will paint the Christmas balls cerulean blue, leaving the small pieces untouched. So we got highlights, the ball immediately became more voluminous, according to the same principle. I will paint over the rest. I will also add pink color to the balls as if they reflect the color of neighboring stars. With a thin brush, I circle some sides of the stars so that they seem even more voluminous. And now we draw the thread from the garland. For this we take a thin brush and type shadow violet. We do as in the video, do not forget about the threads from the jewelry. It will be better if the thickness of the thread is not the same everywhere. This can be controlled by pressing the brush. This way the line will look more expressive and pleasing to the eye. Somewhere we make it a little thicker, somewhere thinner. The thinnest parts of the line can be left at the ends of the garland. Since we have a thin brush in our hands, we will draw the eyebrows and nostrils. Taking the red color, you can circle our hat in this way, drawing vertical lines from the pom-pom to the white part of the hat in parallel.
And now I will draw a smile with scarlet paint, and then I will strengthen it with the help of shadow violet color. I will also circle the muzzle on the right side, paws, wings. It's time for thorns. On the muzzle, I will paint them scarlet and draw fingers on the paws with the remnants of the color. I will change the brush to a large round one. I will take Pyrrhal Scarlet. This is how we draw horizontal lines on the tommy of our dragon. Let the color saturation not be the same everywhere. Watercolor is beautiful when it remains transparent. I add the same color to my legs and feet. Let's add more spots on the body, tail and paws, since our first spots are no longer visible at all. And again, we will strengthen the shadows a little. Take Hansa yellow deep color to make the wings, nose and belly warmer. I also add a warm yellow shade to the central part of the tail. I check if the watercolor is dry. So we turn to the Christmas trees on the garland. They will be the darkest and most saturated in pigment in the whole drawing. To do this we use ultramarine blue plus shadow violet. We take a lot of paint and paint over. Here I will once again go through the garland decorations, emphasizing their shape with a thin brush. Now let's draw the eyes and perhaps start with the pupils, take the same color that we used for Christmas trees. We do this with a thin brush slowly and carefully. Here a colored dark brown pencil comes to the rescue with which we will draw the shape of the eyes. I will draw the dragon's paws with a thin brush and add shadows and spikes on the tail. I will go through the details such as wings, hat, pom-pom, eyes. You can update the primary color in the shadows again. I decide to add more pink spots so that our dragon's body is more textured.
Let's enhance the stars and nose with the same color. Yellow color will strengthen the upper part of the wings and the muzzle. On the left side we emphasize the shape of the dragon ultramarine blue plus shadow violet color. I will draw the main lines with a brown pencil, add details on the muzzle, wings and emphasize the main lines of the figure of our dragon. Add some freckles to the muzzle by mixing Pyrrhal Scarlet and Hansa Yellow Deep colors. Just let's not make them too bright and we will definitely remove the extra color. Let's add more blush to make the character nicer and kinder. I'll go through the color again and strengthen the nostrils and shadows on the body and tail. I will highlight the upper part of the leg in pink and add the same color to the wings, feet and paws. And now the snowfall. With the help of cerulean blue we draw snowflakes, let them fall chaotically and they will all be a little different in size as in life. Oh, and still I want to enhance the color of the spikes on the head. Add pink spots on the wings again and put some accents on the dragon's body. And now the final touch is the inscription 2024. I'm so glad I got this cute New Year's dragon. I hope that inspired by this video, you will be able to draw your own New Year's dragon. Write to me about it in the comments. If you would like to share your work on Instagram, please tag me Fedorovava. I will be happy to review and appreciate your work. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.